pushing like that, mm-hmm. like it's like we talked about the independence we come with. But go ahead. Hello. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> you could have kept going. But um, we're not going to be too long. Jake, Gina has some orders since the three o'clock week. So it is busy, busy, busy. Yeah, I got stuff I got to get done. <laughs> the King of Diamonds um, is is challenging the three of clubs mm-hmm. and, and the six of diamonds supports it. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's obligation work. It can go into worry. It has the three of space, Mercury as well. That also goes into like wellness, health. I was talking about my ace of spades as far as sickness. And I see sometimes like the cards that have like spades and Mercury with five of diamonds, it can, it, they can be, I don't know, um, sometimes brutally honest. Or so I think, I don't know, it depends what you think, Gina. Um, like the ace of diamonds, the eight, eight of diamonds with the king of spades and Mercury, you know? Um, so the three of clubs has the three of spades and Mercury. Um, and in Aquarius class last week, we was talking about the three of spades also being like um, one of those cards you, when you're displacing it, there can be like health issues or displacements as far as like nervousness, because um, it's threes, you know, it can be a very, like, very, um, I guess, mind boggling a number <laughs> in card. You don't say. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. it's, it's choosing, the, it's, it's trying to find a, a, a direction to go, choose between the options. And also with the three spades, it can go into like health and displacing it. Uh, I was in Nina's room a long time ago and a girl was displacing the three spades. So I was like, there's some type of health issue with a uh, direction that you're trying to choose to go, you know, within mm-hmm. your um life at this particular moment and sure and behold like she was going trying to find different cures trying to find different things and also says when you have a period class be aware like going to different doctors because you're going to get a lot of different opinions as well you may go into like self-diagnosis and those type of things but maybe going like a lot of space probably should go into like natural uh um uh, path um, medicines as well, um, like a lot of herbals. And say the space is con- related to like tilling the soil and nothing comes out of it without hard work a lot of times as well. So it may relate to the body. And also, um, I forgot the book, but um, whenever you look at the space, it also does with the reproduction and the sacral part of the body as well. So there's a lot of fire and energy that comes from those particular cards. So um, that's just on the kind of the third quote, <laughs> and just this week and see like can be busy, long winded. Uh, and what's your perspectives as well? <laughs> well, I was hearing you say that as the three, you quickly identify with the threes, and it makes you think about how there's so many things going on at once and all the mm-hmm. aspects. And I would say that in the in the trinity and the things coming together in the triangles and the forms like that's what a lot of it has to do with is having real understanding of how the things work together because the things you're doing in your life whatever they are you want to set them up so that one's not making the other one suck you know you want to make it so that it's fun at least you know so i think of it like when you're making those decisions you're also kind of like bringing your form together and but i can appreciate as a three it feels like it's going everywhere, but there's also a way that when you kind of see it as it fits together, those different things can work together for wholeness. But you know, I live on the bright side of life. And you know, the three of clubs transforms into a four of hearts. So eventually it will get clear. <laughs> they just need to <laughs> decide. I think that's the thing. You probably hear that. I'm trying to minimize that noise, that printer. Um, they they have a lot of ideas. They have a lot going on in their head. And I think they're, the biggest thing with this energy is to stay focused on just a singular path and follow it through and then move on to all the 17 other ideas they got in the back over here, right? Because if they try to manage it all, it be, that's when I think the energy becomes overwhelming, um, too stimulated, and they'll allow like the fear and the doubt and the worry to stop them. They have a hard, I think this is some of the hardest energy to stay in the present moment, mm-hmm. you know, to stay in the now, to stay in the moment and, and get that focus, get that clarity that they need because they have sevens as their Mars and their Pluto. So they tend to be on a very big seesaw ride in mm-hmm. their head. So they have to really be able to stay the course, follow it through I think that's what gives the satisfaction of that four. 
you know, I feel complete. I feel good. I feel like satisfied. I, I was able to, you know, finish that, complete it. And it gave me a like, yeah, job. Well, like I did that shit. Right. So I think that's a part of, and that's three of the four threes transform into four. So I think that's a big part of their path is to be able to really get clear and, and, and then, and then, because we think threes are very, they're ruled by Jupiter, they're an abundant energy. They always bring more. So there's always gonna be more. And you gotta have faith in that. You know, you gotta have faith that that door that you went in didn't work out. All right, close that bitch and go down another one. <laughs> right yeah, on. So. Totally, Jay, totally. I agree. But they get, I think they get frustrated if it doesn't pan out in the way that they may have yeah. seen it or wanted it to. And that's a big part of that sevens is letting go of what you thought it may have needed to be mm -hmm. and allow it to be what it is. Yeah, like when we were starting out, like that King of Diamonds mentality that came through me at eight, 13, 14 years old, that push to be independent. But then those trying so many things and not being as good at it or not getting to do it as well as I wanted to do it, right? Because I feel like part of what has played on my self-doubt is not being able to do things as well as I like to do things. I enjoy when things get done and they're done well. It feels good. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, a, it's a strong like, yes, but when those things go left and right and this and that, then sometimes you got to be able to like not get caught up in that, you know, and be like, okay, well, like you said, the door will open again. Like we got as far as we got, we'll see how it comes back again. But it was all for the good. We had fun. Keep going, you know, like that mm. kind of thing. And I'm tripping. I said a six diamonds is five of diamonds to mm -hmm. this person. Um, and don't they have a five in Jupiter? Isn't that their Jupiter card? The five of diamonds? No. Yeah, and then just in the six, the three of space is displacing the um, six of diamonds and, and the jack of diamonds. Right. Right. So, and I think even like you, as the three of diamonds, you have a five in Jupiter too. So you see the patterns mm -hmm. that the threes have fives in Jupiter. So they are meant to explore. They are, they always, when they can shift and pivot from that door shutting and opening, they're, they're, it's going to be even better, but they mm -hmm. get caught, they get stuck. They, they get attached because them sevens, it's like, no, it's supposed to be this way. Right. Even like, Rashad as a three of diamonds has two sevens in his spread. So that's the thing. And that's, that's the kind of way I like, you start to look, I don't, as you see, I don't look at just one card. I see the patterns that each card has and why and why. And then looking through to their transformation card, how do they get to that? You know what I mean? Like in Rashad being a three, he's got two sevens. The three, the three of clubs has two sevens. So you start to see the patterns that these cards have and why they, you know, the challenges that they present to them. I want to reflect that back. That's a really cool thing for the listeners. So Gina, you're letting us know that yeah, we can look at the card, but there's a whole path with the card. And when you get to know the path of what numbers and what cards and where they are, you get a sense of the terrain of what it is to be that person. Exactly. I've always like, that's for the longest now, I probably, I mean, it's just the way my brain works. Like I, like, that's why I know three of the four threes transform into fours, three of the four sevens transform into eights, three, you know what I mean? Then three of the four nines transform into ten. So it makes you see that and, and and if you look at look at the jack of hearts and the jack of clubs we have a nine in mercury we have two two in mars so that it made sense to me why a lot of growing up i was me and jack and club jack of clubs were like this because we got a lot of the same energy where we just <laughs> we have a lot of fun two in two in mars two in pluto the 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 moon is a six cosmic moon or sixes so you i see that that's what i that's like how my brain i put it together like that <laughs> That makes a lot of sense in the way we can see the alchemy of the cards and family and in patterns and stuff too, because mm -hmm. that makes sense on where you're going to find your mirrors, right? Because mm -hmm. those girls who are like you, they're like mirrors for you at certain times of your life and they help mm -hmm. you develop those twos. They help you develop the awareness. Mm -hmm. of yep. Awesome. I'm always looking at that. You know, I'm yeah. always seeing the paths and the, and, and, and you see the similarities, you know, that was probably like the biggest aha moment I had when I realized like, ha, huh, three of these nines transform into tens. What are you tripping about? Like, let that shit go. I keep hearing that again and again too. I'm like, wait a minute. And what are the kings transforming to aces, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, what is that for the king of clubs and the, um, 
King of Spades. The King of Spades. Mm -hmm. So you'll see sometimes and then it's the Saturn, so sometimes the same as well. Yep. Um, like as the birth card, you notice that the sat like the two has a two. The two as a birth card has a two as a Saturn. Obviously, it's a different suit, but it's so you, you see that too. Five, I think there's a five. Has a five. I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but yeah, that's that's that the, kind of stuff. Of yeah, exactly. See, I yeah, and, <laughs> and the, then the nines have a, a pattern as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's that's why, like you said, the three of clubs. Um, eventually, they also have a um, an issue. You talking about like letting go and hanging on those nines? You know, mm -hmm. um, it has a nine of hearts and venus so their relationships mm -hmm. a lot of times they don't know when to let go <laughs> you know and i i know all about that <laughs> <laughs> nine of spades in venus so it, it it that's why it's interesting too because i have a lot of three of clubs in my life mm. it's it's my it's it's my saturn card in my um spirit spread too so i realize like there's a really strong connection there the Does the spirit clubs. spread mean in the pure spread? Yeah, mm -hmm. pure spread, spirit spread. Yeah, seeing the the the, you know, even like two of clubs, two of clubs are my Jupiter card. It's why, like, I you know, we can talk. I've always had a good like. I've realized the two of clubs that I've real in my life. I'm like, no kidding. That's why we talk so much. <laughs> you said the two of clubs is what. The Jupiter in my spirit in the spirit spread. In the spiritual spread. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I look at the spiritual spread a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. I was just talking to someone about that. Um, I was talking about how the ten of clubs and the jack of diamonds. Um, I seen that that particular pattern, and then also like me and the jack of diamonds uh, running to each other a lot. So a lot of times, like those Pluto connections are really strong coming from this spread to the spiritual spread. And for the king of diamonds, um, what would it be? I should have had the spread up. Yeah, here I can. I have it over here. Hold on. Let me move this. Does it give you a chance? Can you share? Does it give y'all buttons on y'all screen to share your screens? Oh, I'm on. A, I'm on my iPad. You know, I don't know how to use this stuff. <laughs> oh, Wait a here. I'm looking. Because uh, yeah. I want, I was thinking that the other day because there was something I wanted to share this recording, but um, yeah, I don't see it. Maybe I'll go to settings. And yeah. the King of Diamonds sits Uranus, Jupiter in the um, pure spread. And um, the Kings is a six of spades, probably. Maybe is it Pluto? No, the eight of spades. Eight of spades. Okay. Mm -hmm. The six of spades is there. Um, Uranus. So then, me and the, the, the seven of spades are the queen's Plutos. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. the way around. Yeah, mm -hmm. me and those six and eight, There's plenty of those. There's girls I've known their whole lives that were like mini daughters that are both six and eight of spades. So I've definitely been six and eight of spaded. <laughs> <laughs> I've been six and eight of spaded. I've been spade. <laughs> I've had some spade experiences. I've been spaded. So, <laughs> there you go. More, but I, I think it's because I think of the sixes now, like you say, really like knowing the self and the eight, just like pushing through to be able to discipline and, and manage what it is that you feel with the pressure from yourself to yourself, you know, because when you're connecting to everything, past just you it's another level of knowing yourself and then bringing yourself into the everything else and then letting go what you got to let go and then becoming new again and starting over you know like just seems like it just keeps happening over and over mm -hmm. eight of spades is you know that's actually my been my pluto card this whole year for me and it does it takes it it, it it's very strong energy um, it gives you, I feel like it gives you a lot of physical power too, you know, and you can use it because I, I, I consider it like an energizer bunny type energy. You know, it just keeps going and going and going and going. Um, and I've had a lot more physical power, but there have been, you know, like right now, as you see, I'm in my bed because I'm mm -hmm. just really like, we had this stupid alert system thing that went off at four in the morning. That sucked ass because then it was really hard to go back to sleep. I was up 
the other morning with a, like my stomach was just not agreeing with me. And I was telling Rashad before we got on, I should have known not to eat that whole bag of air puffy thingies that I have because I have the seven <laughs> of hearts as my long range card this week. And I was like, dang it, man. The last time I had this card, I think is the long range card. I was sick. My stomach was sick again. So it's just like, you have to just be, you know, I made bad food choices one night and I'm paying for it, you know, cause my, I haven't had that stuff in a while. And it's like, why would you even think to do this? And here I am still in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the connection, though, how it just flowed into it, because the seven of hearts actually is the transformation for the eight of spades, or the eight of spades transforms into the seven of hearts in the spiritual spirit. Mm -hmm. Hold on, then we got to talk, because <laughs> so I went and I looked at my age 14, and I went through what my seven-year cycle would have been, and it would have landed me at a seven of hearts. Mm. And um and then I was thinking about how I'm in this eight of spades year and I'm going into a seven of diamonds, but the last period before my birthday is a seven of hearts. So there's for sure like a transformation happening in that understanding of coming for yourself and going through that bridge and using that energy of the eight to come through that bridge of the seven. Mm -hmm. And staying and consistent with just like, you can't just let this health thing like you only throw a little bit at it. And then once you're better, you walk away. You got to stay consistent. That's what the eights are, is to stay consistent in your health with the effort. You know, like it, it, it's really good. Like when you see an eight of spades coming to start, like a, you have a lot of willpower, physical power to like start a new regimen of health, whether it's going to the gym, walking five miles a day, running on a whatever um, treadmill, whatever you do, it, it's that eight of spades will, you'll be able to follow through. You'll be able to stick through. Like for me with the eight, I saw that, you know, knowing my spread at 42, seeing 43 when my birthday was hitting that I was going to have that eight of spades in Pluto. And it, I actually felt it prior to my birthday that I needed to do something, you know, for my body. And that's when I started doing the Pilates and I haven't stopped. I, I literally do go, f I do five classes a week. I love it. And so very, you know, and it, and it actually requires me to operate out of that Virgo North node that I have because you have to schedule the classes. And once you commit, you can't, like, if you don't show up, you get charged. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I can't like back out. Like when I don't like today, I really could not go cause I'm not feeling well still, but I'm going to go because I needed to cancel it last night before I don't get charged. So it makes you very committed. <laughs> <laughs> something I need being a Pisces. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> because I'd be like, no, nah, I'm just going to stay in bed today. Y'all ain't going nowhere. Like it's so easy for me to do. Be like, fuck it. I'm not doing nothing. And this makes me not be like that. I have to do it. So it's perfect for me. <laughs> you know, I think, I think what I did was I used my eight of spades for focus and business and stuff. Cause like, I do feel more clear and, and kind of lined up with certain things like that. But I think that I know that that independent survival mode that I touch on with that girl who said, leave me alone, but please don't leave me girl. That, that part of pushed me to just keep going and going and going. So the business and trying to succeed at that is like, when I get to rest or when I get to take care of myself. Cause I, I keep saying this King of Diamonds has got a workaholic energy in it sometimes. Like I'm like, I feel like I'm always supposed to be working mm -hmm. and I don't want to always be working. My body doesn't always want to be working. My soul doesn't want to always be working, but I keep thinking I got to be working. So I kind of ate a spade of it in work and I'm getting with the shingles now, like an ate a spade going hello, you know, and I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. You know, so, I'm, I'm listening, but you're right. It's consistent with the changes and coming out with ways that you start to like transform with it because you commit. Yep. And you, and you'll, and, and the, I, I'll tell you just from the, you know, like when I first started the P Pilates, it, you know, you don't see the transformation yet, but I could feel it in my body. Like my body was getting more aligned, the stretching that you do and that the pain was starting to decrease and now, like, you know, almost a year in now, because I started in June last year, at the end of June, like my body has transformed, you know, I don't, I'm not one that like looks at my weight. I don't, I've never been, I don't even have a scale. So I've never been one to like pay attention to how much I weigh. I don't care. 
Mm-hmm. I, I can see it in my body. I can feel it in my body. I don't need the number. Um, mm-hmm. And I've never been obs- uh, like obsessed with it. Like I said, I don't have a scale in my house, so I've never cared. And I've always been pretty fit, so it's not. It wasn't a thing. After children, obviously, you fluctuate, but I can see the difference, and I feel stronger. And that, to me, is a very big part of that eight of spades: is feeling stronger, feeling able to, you know, um, you're, 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 you, and it makes you want to keep doing it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to stop. Even once this year is over, I'm going to keep going on it because I really do like it, you know, and it's become a big part of my life. Like, I don't like I sent my kid to camp for spring break because I wasn't going to miss my class. (laughs) 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 Because I can't leave her home by herself. So (laughs) but when you stick with it, it makes you want to keep sticking with it. Right. Because part of the deal. Like, cause once you take a little break off, like school, like anything, it, it loses some of the, like, we got to keep doing this. Right. I find that all the time. Yeah. That's like one of the things, but when there's so many things you're trying to keep up with, but like, what's sacred? That's been my question for the part of this uh, eclipse too. Like living a holy life that brings things sacred to me. Like what's mm-hmm. it, what's my sacred? Like what brings me the, the fullest, you know, form or expression, you know, good health, whatever, you know, so. I, I hear what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And when you have to do it, you, it's a good feeling because you're like, oh, yeah, this is what I do. Yeah, it's, it's um, Lawrence Taylor. He's um, he's a good example of the Ada Space. I was looking for a video. He played in the NFL. He's mm-hmm. like, I know who he is. Yep, I know who he is. Yeah. <laughs> LT. Yeah. They used to call him LT. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's the eight of spades. He was vicious. He's like one of the best. Wasn't he a defensive tackler or something, if I remember correctly? Or I can't remember, but he was he was a beast. And that's that eight of spades. Like it's a lot of strength. It's a lot of power. Yeah, I'm looking for a video of it. Of him. It's coming up. But yeah, he was vicious. Like he was very, very physical. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's just say that he was basically a bully on the football field. Yeah. <laughs> he, was mm-hmm. a bully. Oh. he was a prototype of the eight of spades. And, and that's where it takes a lot of endurance, you know. Uh, and it's a mentally heavy card, too. I just, and, um, I was looking at, um, they have the three of clubs um, and, and Saturn, you know, and then they're displacing the eight of clubs. Um, right, yeah. Yeah, so um, the indecision, and then they have the third place. Um, uh, did y'all hear that? What'd you say? Sorry. No, I'm saying, um, I don't know if stop sharing. So that uh, bully like Ada Spades thing, I guess instead of uh, pushing things outside of you, it's about pushing yourself, but when you're pushing yourself that strong, probably like Lawrence Taylor was, you feel like you're supposed to push everyone else that strong because you're getting pushed that strong. Yeah, he was defense. I knew it. Yeah, he was a t- yeah, he was a badass. So that's what I, I I grew up watching football. I grew up watching him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was just one of your favorite uh, players, Gina. Probably. That's <laughs> a <impressive as> shit. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> They say the the hearts and jacks are soft, um, but no, the six of hearts is Mars. I mean, I'll cry, but I'm still going to beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> like you say, it's war, you know, uh, uh-huh. but the six of hearts is Mars. And where's the six of hearts for you? Uranus. Uranus. <laughs> so I come out with a boom. <laughs> but then I'll. I'll cook you something <laughs> afterwards, or you know, whatever. I'll, I'll be like, here, I'm sorry, I hurt you. <laughs> That's <my> peace. <laughs> Did you guys used to take classes together? Have you ever been in the same place? Or are you guys always known each other on like Zooms and stuff? I've never physically met Rashad, but we did. I when the first, like when we. I've started and me and him went through Aquarius's course, what, back in 2020. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, um, no, it was before then. Yeah, it was before the play. <laughs> it was like um, 2018 going into 2019. 
maybe. Um, when we started? Yeah, yeah. Well, it, was, it was somewhere around that time. Uh, I think y'all may have started before. You did. I came in late. You came in late? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I came in before you. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. remember, it was, jo it was Josephine and you and... I haven't spoken to her in so long. I think she's mad at me. If I don't know why. Ella Josephine, she's a yeah. <laughs> three of diamonds. Oh, she was another three of diamonds, the three of diamonds mirror you had in that class? Yeah, yeah. She was my three of diamonds mirror. She was um intuitive as well. She was like mm -hmm. psychic intuitive. Um, mm -hmm. which, which mine's like, have you ever seen like um gosh, what's that TV show where the kid like Everybody around him has superpowers, and he's like, and he doesn't have superpowers. <laughs> and then, like, his comes late. It's like that's how I'm working. Like, where's my superpowers? <laughs> yeah, with the ace of space and the king ace of um the eight of space is very intuitive as well. Have you have y'all ever looked at eight of, ace, eight of space intuition or work with them or? How I just did a reading mm -hmm. for a lady in Thailand who was at Eight of Spades yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I had a reading with her. Oh, and, wow. you know, they have the Queen of Spades as their cosmic lesson. So mm -hmm. it, it's very, you know, they have. It, and think those two aces is right off the, as their first two cards, too. Trusting mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, really trusting the, the innate, you know, self, not the way they feel, their values. Um, and and because you think about the Queen of Spades, just spiritual self mastery. Well, mm -hmm. they got those two aces right off the rip. So it, there, it, that's why you can see how their spread builds to that that point of that Queen of Spades being the cosmic lesson. Mm -hmm. So self development, they need self development coaches mm -hmm. a lot of times, especially as far as anger, um, temperament, or or just. And she was a boxer. She was an MMA fighter. Actually. <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that, that, you know what, that's really good for people who have eight of spades children. They need to have like a physical outlet or they're going to destroy your house. You're going to be breaking things just to break them. So if you're raising an eight of spades or any eight, really, because they, 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 they do represent that power, that strength. Same thing with kings. They need an outlet. Mm -hmm. you know, or they become tyrant, you know, they become, you know, like destructive. They have to, they have a lot of physical power and, you know, they need to learn things. And, and that's the thing with the, even the eight of clubs has two, eight, the two aces in their spread. So you see the patterns, you see, you see how the, the energy show play out. Like they yeah, think right. about the eights are an, an infinite source, but where do you think it comes from? Themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, they're that's the, really, they're the source. And so they yeah. knew they do need that that outlet though they have to have it or they'll explode it, it doesn't like even have to be like fighting or boxing whatever it, even if it, creative some kind of outlet you know what i mean it could be cooking it could be mm -hmm. a space yeah, it could be music it could be art my son it was music when he started to right. make music and i mean or even like when he decided he was gonna play basketball at the eight of club son he would be outside for three to four hours mm -hmm. just shooting Ball and that basket thing. Consistent we like, consistency. Hopefully, <laughs> that kid is doing that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, just he would do that. Yeah, okay, I, they, I they're that willing the to put in the work. But see, and I, I mean, I feel like I'm whining when I say this, but I have shingles, so whatever. I'm whining, but like. I feel like there's always been so much to do that I don't get to do that. Like, part of where my resentment comes in as a character is like. When do I get to take a sabbatical and just do some fucking art and put all this stuff together? Like I've been going for a long time. Do you know what I mean? Like just with the mom, not complaining, just accepting. Like, oh, now there's another kid. No, now I'm house. Now I'm moving here. Now, I'm and you're just doing it. And you're doing it. And you're doing it. And then when I see someone like my teenage sons sitting and getting to do something by themselves, I was totally that girl. I was redoing furniture. I was making things out of bottles. I was doing art out of my room. Like I loved all that stuff. But once you're in the game and you got stuff to do and you get some distortion of yourself, like you're important and you better fucking help because that's why you're here. When do you get to just go outside and do something for five hours until you get good at it? And that's one thing about the age of space. They do have to take a vacation. 
<laughs> Sometimes you gotta get away. They have a five of hearts, the ace of hearts, the ace of diamonds. They have to also take breaks and get away. They have a three of clubs and Saturn. So that's also mental exhaustion. And you're sitting in the eight mm-hmm. of clubs, the club split space as well. You know, is it Saturn? I keep on saying Saturn. Um, it is. The eight of spades has the three of clubs and Saturn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you do have to take a break. Um, and they have a, uh, a seven in Pluto as well. And they have to have fun. Yeah, you know what I mean? They have, they have to have they have to lighten up. They can be very it can be a very intense, you know, serious type energy of strength and power. Like it's you you can relax. You can, you know, there's that sense of like not always having to go, 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 go with that eight, you know, and, and having, you know, being free, I think is a big part of that energy as well, because of the five of hearts. Mhm. But the king of diamonds. What do you have? Your five. You don't have a five anywhere. Oh, <laughs> that's why you transform oh into a <laughs> uh, He said, "Oh, <laughs> for sure." <laughs> and then your cosmic lesson is an eight of spades, right? Um, oh my god! <laughs> so I'm sitting in my cosmic lesson, trying to figure out how to. <laughs> Admit that I need support and trust that I am meant to be creative and focused because I fucking love that stuff. Mm. Like I love to stay focused and creative, but yeah, the physical part's real. Like because I don't, I get overwhelmed by all the things. Do you know what I mean? So then I don't feel called to the physical. But and I prefer to work to be physical. Like I enjoy the farming. I enjoy when there's things to do to be moving around. Like the idea of like. I'm just going to like stand on this machine for 40 minutes. My body's okay. Doesn't make sense to me, but we're going to hike up to a summit and do something up there. This is that. Yeah, totally. I'll do that. Right. You know, like breathing, meditating, my body needing breath. Of course, all day breathing constantly using meditation all the time, Mm -hmm. using music. Can't help but have to use music. Like we'll die without music. Do you know what I mean? But as far as the, this is a good lesson. I think I'm in a good classroom. Honestly, I just feel a lot more itchy as we talk about it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, um, I answer a question um, before we, I know we have to head out. Did you say the two of clubs or the three of clubs has a hard time? At letting go, um, yes, the uh, three of clubs has the nine of hearts in Venus, um, and the two of clubs transformation is a king of spades and it has a king of clubs and um, Mercury, yeah. So, the two of clubs can be kind of vicious as well, it depends. Especially towards me. I've definitely had some cat fights with two of the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> and they have, like, and there's have, just ways that they come at me. And I'm just like, I can't fucking think how much I want to, like, what the hell? Like, there's like a real, I mean, twos in general, they're probably the people I get the most frustrated at. And I think um, two combined with the king is, is probably itself or another two. Um, so it's always a reflection, uh, maybe, and, and they have the King of Hearts that supports them, which is your, uh, one of your planetary rules or your moon card being a cancer. So, um, it depends on which moon we're looking at, but both heart cards, right? <laughs> and that's a reflection. So, so yeah. Well, all right. So, um, I don't know if there's anything else. I know Gina has to go. Uh, fulfill some orders. A great conversation today. Um, hopefully, we tackled the three clubs in this week. <laughs> um, and the three clubs is also a moon to the, um, with the eight of space. I think it really has to find, like we said, some uh, outlet with somewhere to disperse all the mental energy that's behind it. You know, um, they're great for planning things out once they can release some of that energy and, and getting everything else into structure and, and getting everything organized. So it's a great building card, you know, um, once you know what to do with the energy and find some way to release it physically uh, as well as mentally. So I know with the three clubs, I had one of the uh, 
essence of manifestation through through written um, and, and and orientation as far as like voice and speaking as well. I think they have to like music and those things find the outlets is, is pretty good for them as well. So they have to have an outlet like that. I rem I'll never forget the day. And I know I've probably said it a bazillion times. I had that card as a Mercury card. And my God, I was like, fuck this card. Because <laughs> the way the way my head just was like so overwhelmed with fear and just I was like in my mind, every worst scenario was happening. And I was overwhelmed <laughs> and consumed with mm -hmm. so much. It was it was a lot. It was really a lot. And just by the whim, I went out and played laser tag with my little one in the front yard. And it just, oh my God, that was, uh, that's when I, that's why I say the remedy to those threes is you have to play, you have to have fun. You got to lighten up. You got to be like, because it, it, if not, it can become consuming. It, like it's a very strong card of hypochondria at its lower mm -hmm. side. Yeah. And, and I feel like, because and you think about the card it transforms into a four of hearts can be a very, it's a playful card. It's got the five of hearts pushing it. It's a very, those are playful cards. You want to have fun. You need to release, like you said. And so it's, it's, I had to have an outlet to get, and, 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 and that's another thing too. In that moment playing with her, I was pre, I was there, I was present. And it made everything I was worried about obsolete. Mm -hmm. It was me. It was my own like no, shit no. in my head. You know, it wasn't even anything tangible <laughs> to worry about. I the was other cre night. creating it. So that the other is huge. Go ahead. The twin's best friend is a six of spades. He's like my third twin and he's gotten into art. And the other night he came home or came to the house. Like, you know, they come when he's home and he came to the house and you know, we usually start some banter, fighting over who's going to watch the movie, some jokes, this and that. And he walked in and he dropped a thing of clay on the table and broke off pieces and gave them to everybody. And all four of us, well, one of them did. One of the twins was working on something's computer. And we got into the clay. And so we did it for like an hour and a half. Nobody really was even talking to each other, but we were all totally focused on making something out of our clay, just like sitting there working and like, I felt so much more relaxed. Mm -hmm. I was like, can you leave some of that clay? <laughs> you know, just, <laughs> and, and like, I, I, so I think you're right. I think it's just being able to zone into those places and allowing yourself to kind of like enjoy what that Be is. Be present. Yeah. Being pre you're not thinking of, the, the 17,000 things you probably need to be doing or have to got, got, got to get done, but just being right there in that moment. Mm -hmm. is like the remedy to that energy to because then because you got to think they're of expressive energy they're creative energy and when they can be present with their art when they can be present with that 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 energy that's when they're unstoppable that's when they can like write a whole book and and, and write a play or write a song or write it you know a number one hit whatever it may be that they're good at they're going to exceed at that because they are not in fear anymore. They're in that present moment. It's key. And that goes for anybody got a three in your spread. You don't have to be a three because a lot of times you'll see in the spreads, the threes trap, like there's a three of clubs, three of spades. They're always together. You know, they, they follow each other. So it can be a lot of intenseness or it can give you a lot of options. And like I said, just being able to follow them through and not just have, because it can be un, unnecessary busyness you got so so much going on but you never finish nothing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so and i think that's key to them when they can stay clear about the goal the end goal and then working to it because like i said they're always going to have something else mm -hmm. yeah. and with the three of clubs this week you know it, 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 it you had like because it has those the seven seven in mars and the seven in pluto you know, staying like it, it is a harder energy to stay to the fore, to the groundedness, to the present, to the moment, to be clear. And so if they have to do things like you said, to relax them, mm -hmm. to relax that mind that is constantly stimulated and creating scenarios that if they just breathe and stayed present, aren't probably really even happening. They're creating it in their mind. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, the threes are I always worried about the future. Um, uh, staying present, past, present, and future kind of like the threes, like the um, sixes, sixes, and nines, you know. Mm -hmm. 
harm is usually a detriment and threes is usually like you said we're about something that hasn't even happened yet mm -hmm. <laughs> not, not being present so the threes mm -hmm. thing is definitely being present it's a must you know mm -hmm. staying in the moment is key staying in the moment is key for the sevens because that's their superpower that's how you manifest speak things into existence because you're not in a state of fear you're in a state of abundance and that's when you attract more because you, you are in the present moment it, it's so clean it, it sounds so simple but it's so damn hard for everybody everybody it doesn't i don't care what card you are sometimes mm -hmm. because you because you're going to have these threes and sevens in your spread yeah you know, in a you. weekly basis seven week a yearly wherever you are so you are and it, it, what it does is it teaches you and I think if we can just teach kids and people to just stay present in the moment, you really, day by day, it's mindfulness. It, it, because if not, your mind wanders. And, now and also your mind becomes patterned. Yeah. Because when you start to develop an autopilot, so you can be up in your head, you know, making a movie while you're doing whatever the heck you got to do. Yeah. 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 And the third class is a, is a computer. The king of diamonds is a computer as well. Mm -hmm. So talking mm -hmm. about patterns. <laughs> Like those mm -hmm. three sixes and nines also recognize patterns. That's a lot of times you can yes. find them in metaphysics. And, and that's why they, you know, probably recommend the three clubs to go into like some type of metaphysical science as well. Mm -hmm. um, so they can take use of, of the, the, the super scientific and engineering brain that they have, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> they, and they just need outlets. You know, that's their biggest thing. Like, I, you know, um, a three of diamonds that I, I work with. She, you know, she being in the earth gardening is relaxing to her. It soothes her. Right. And that makes sense because she's in the moment, you know, she's in the dirt. A lot of her energy she likes to put into the like that, like grounding, you know, when you go out and barefoot. I live, I don't, I'm always barefoot. I'm always yeah, been there so long. Oh my gosh. It, it's so important, you know, to be able because it releases a lot of that stress. It takes away a lot of that, 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 that tension, that angst, that worry. Right. And it keeps you I see I don't I'm not a guard I don't guard I can't I, I can't keep anything alive. So it's not just <laughs> gonna work for me. <laughs> the yeah. space taking over. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh god, you remind me of no, no, uh, what's the what's the girl poison ivy from um, Oh the poison ivy girl <laughs> from <Boston. laughs> I mean my kid it's my kids look at me like it's amazing we've made it. I'm like, I know, right? I've done well. <laughs> <laughs> like the nine of spades in me is like, I love you to death. <laughs> I can't, I've literally have lost basil plants. I'm like, you don't even need much and I can't keep those alive. So it's really, really bad. We're going to take your garden in hands. Maybe, maybe you're just looking for some balance in your life. Someone has a heart in Venus. <laughs> <laughs> It's not for me. I'm like, I'm not going to survive the apocalypse. If I have to grow food, we're fucked. <laughs> I really like what you brought in today, Gina, about ask, reminding me to look at the spreads of the people more and not just their cards. I feel like you made the picture bigger. Like mm -hmm. I do scan it and I usually always think of the first couple ones, but when you see what a person's path is, it's kind of like you really get a sense that like, well, that's obviously the kind of stuff that's going to happen because that's where you are. Like the twins are definitely have very different numbers than I have. You know, I have all like twos, fours and eights and they don't have that. Mm -hmm. They have like sevens and nines and mm -hmm. they have a completely different life kind of thing. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, they say that your life path isn't that hard to be honest because you all the those twins. numbers. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. We're kind of, we're kind of, we're like royals. But let's just say thank you for everyone coming to listen because these are the things that can grow. You know, Rashad can help you with reading to know yourself. Gina can look at your whole spread, give you weeklies and monthlies. I'm really scheming and dreaming to make that Growing With The Seasons Clubhouse a place for conversations around ages and stages and to really look at our cards and our lives in just authentic, safe ways with each other to be able to have the family conversations that sometimes run after whatever we thought was important we didn't have so that we can claim ourselves and be ourselves in the best way possible for whoever our family is, however we're showing up. But, you know, from a balanced place, from a place where you know that you didn't do anything wrong, you just were you. Mm -hmm. you know, just playing your cards. And now you can play your cards a little differently because you know more. They help. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely help and yeah like that's 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 been a big like um puzzle piece when i can put them 
in that when I can see the patterns between the two, like the jacks, like I said, my spread and the jack of club spread, how we have the nine in Mercury, the two in Mars, the two in Pluto, six in the moon, king in Jupiter, you know, then you see a lot of the similarities. You look, you know, the, the and look, like I said, you know, the, um, I, I look at the cards that have sevens in Pluto. I look at the the four cards that have the nines in Pluto's. Those tend to be the harder energies. So you, and you see that the, it's, it's, it's a lot of the same number. It's, it's really powerful to kind of look throughout the whole spread and make the connections. It makes the cards make more sense to me, I guess. Well, I'm going to make a commitment as we go into this eclipse to, to say yes to whatever amount of gardening or chilling out I need to do so that my brain and its computer wisdom can reset itself to pay attention to that and understand why these cards have been obsessing my life for the last three years and find out what it is I can do to, to understand that, to support people to see it like that and be so simple about it. Like it's deep, yes, but it's also just a basic template, just like mm -hmm. your astrology that kind of gives you a sense of like, don't take that personal. Don't take somebody down. Don't develop a whole, you know, phobia or fear system because of it. It's what you came to live. It's who mm -hmm. you are. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. Wrong with it. And it's a journey to be a star. Like it's a journey for your wholeness. It's a journey to repair whatever other stuff happened from whatever else we're connected to. So just for real, recognize it as, Oh, this is happening for me. And I can actually get a little sense of the terrain, kind of know when to wear a raincoat, if you will. But it doesn't mean you can change that it's going to rain. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? You can just decide not to like turn it into a reason to kill yourself. Right. Or, you know, or to punish yourself. Right. Be mean right. to yourself. Judge yourself. Let's say judge. Right. Kill yourself is a little dramatic. Again, I'm sick. I'm yeah. dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, no reason to judge yourself. Like I think the judgment needs to be on, you know, whether or not you can, I don't even know how much we need to judge. I feel like judgment's a thing to really talk about and the way we use concepts and words because we're locking each other up in smaller concepts and I think are actually, they don't even think they're really describing what's actually happening. Like we're making it more like, I don't know, rigid and judgy and we're not accepting the fact that we're not here to be judged. We're here to live. We're here to express. We're here to be curious. We're here to entertain. What's with all this judgment? That's a hard thing to grow around all that judgment. So we'll see where the judgment goes. Now that's, um, they have the queen of spades in Saturn. So there's a lot of judgment they take upon themselves. So. But I do have to go. <laughs> yeah. so, so thank, thank you. you all. Um, and we'll see y'all next week. Bye, everybody.